Well, if you're looking for one fighter in an alley to save your life, you could probably do worse than this man as we welcome back the UFC middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. A lot of people think his ceiling is championship and that eventually this man will be the undisputed UFC middleweight title holder. Seems to be a great stylistic matchup against a lot of these guys. He has power, he has speed, he has toughness, a chin that allows him to be aggressive. And when he's aggressive, he is at his athletic best. He is a total athletic freak off the charts. And tonight, trying to prove to people that he is a force to be reckoned and true, one of, if not the best middleweight team. Bohashinia Paulo Costa enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight that UFC championship belt. Celebrities are out, the floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody wanna show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. He won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. The biggest superstar this game has ever seen has graced the octagon. McGregor is ready to go. Tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Presenting the challenger, Paolo the Eraser Costa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the no Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, early round action here, and you got to be mindful of that Paolo Costa power. I know that isn't breaking news, but certainly his opponent talked a lot about that this week, especially at the outset of these rounds when bodies are dry and not tired. You've got to be careful of all that Paolo Costa Brazilian power coming back your way. Well, Conor McGregor's boxing looks sharp here tonight. We talk about him as a master of distance management, but he also uses his long reach to great effect. It's one thing to have a long reach. It's another to use it and to use that jab, and McGregor has really mastered it when it comes to mixed martial arts. Nice shot there by the champ. Just hit. Looking for that left hand. 
Not there. McGregor's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Three minutes to go. Hands high, hands high. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh! Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading smooth shots. Oh! Wow, huge head kick. Back and forth we go. McGregor's got a cut on the forehead. Yes, he's bleeding now, so some work for the cut man in between rounds if we get there. Oh, good jab to the body by Costa. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, nice jab by Costa. Back to the well with the uppercut. Now it's true. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Beautiful. 26 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Out of range with that one. Final seconds here. Both fighters throwing heat now. Round two coming up next. All right, so that round is in the books. Oh, McGregor's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. He is getting into your body. I need you to keep those elbows tight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Round two now is upon us. Conor Ready McGregor fight. and the Brazilian Ready. Paulo Costa. Good. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Costa's power, getting it going yet again. This has got to be the scariest guy in the middleweight division right now. Belt around his waist or not. No decision victories as he enters the octagon here tonight, and it's easy to see why. Good jab there by the champion. Nice block. Strong jab there by Costa. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. 48 total strikes have now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. And striking at a 45% clip tonight against Conor McGregor. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. That was a nice strike. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Just over two minutes to go. It's a pretty fast jab. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. It's not over, it's not over. 
so the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Big right hand. Massive left hand. Oh, how good is that? Big, big shots here. Oh, so what an end to the round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. Not a problem at all, okay? The reason that happened is you're dropping your hands. I need you to keep your hands up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, nice. McGregor going for the leg kick, he misses. Lands a jab. Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 12 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Paulo the Eraser. So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking him in this spot tonight. As Dominic Cruz said, when you became the double champ, he got it done. Not many people expected him to win. Those three guys that walked to the octagon with him were sure that he would win this fight.